today with my man, Deadpool Domino. Hi, little man. Hi, he's waving to you. Hi. He is, of course, a common snapping turtle. And you can identify a common snapping turtle by a very long tail. Um, noticeable, they have these heels. Oh, I touched your tail. I'm so sorry. Um, but they have these little cool alligator, crocodile type um, heels here. And those will continue to grow um, throughout his lifetime. And that's an easy way to tell almost right away if you got a common or alligator snapping turtles. Alligator snappers have a longer, even skinnier tail, but no ridges. And a common snapping turtle, very easy to tell apart, um, does have these uh, ridges on the back. My goodness, I'm so sorry. No, no problem. Wait. Um, let's see there. It's really cool. Uh, they usually have four. Uh, he only has three. Um, as you can see, he should have another one right here. But he doesn't. And if they get damaged anywhere on their body, of course, um, we all know this, but uh, they do not regenerate or regrow any part of their um, anatomy or limbs. If they have a shell injury, they can heal from that, but they'll have damage forever. Like, he's got damage from a bearded dragon bite. Um, we know that, obviously, bearded dragons, they're cool and sweet and cute looking, but then when it comes to real life, a bearded dragon will um, try to eat anything that is smaller than it. And he was little, little hatchling, seriously, like, shell this big. And the bearded dragon knocked the lid off the dragon tank, it was a friend's, a friend's dragon, and got into his tank, um, and knocked the lid off that, and I came in the room because I was cleaning something of a different tank, and the bearded dragon had him in his mouth and was chomping on him like bad, and he almost died from that, and that is why he's deformed a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. He has these white marks here are, are scars. He has scars from that attack, like it really cut him up bad, and he was so little, the vet, of course, as we, veter I have veterinarians around here that say they're reptile vets or small animal vets and they're really not helpful but everyone wanted to just put them down and I knew they would say that I thought maybe they could do a couple stitches but they said he would pass away on his own um, but he did make it through I'm grateful for that and little scales that's the bearded dragon bite mark right there but he likes having his little scars rubbed. He gets a little nervous. I don't have him outside as much, so that's why we're here. And with my animals, I do like to dry their shells out periodically. Um, I mean, not under a light or anything, but just have them hang out. Um, especially the alligator snappers, because their shells are kind of leathery. Um, a common snapper shell is more hard. Um, but uh, these common snappers, I love them so much. And it's all green. Does that look like you? It actually does. Um, I got that 